would like to call on Jalen Constance. Give him a round of applause. He will lead the little leaguers from the very smallest to the biggest in the Little League Pledge. Please repeat after Jalen. I trust in God. I love my country and will respect its laws. I will play fair and strive to win. But win or lose, I will always do my best. Thank you very much. We have a lot in store for you for this year and the coming year because next year we are about to host the 15th and 16th tournament right here next July, early July, late June. And we are preparing to win it, not to just host it. The intention is to win that tournament. And basically, we are not, uh, actually already on a three-year tournament, a three-year program, because we already more or less know what the core of that team can be. But Drew, along the way, you always get other players, so we could be definitely have the best team on the field to represent us, the Sweet St. Martin Land. Thanks again, folks, and glad you're here. Thank you very much, Mr. Jacobs. Before I call on our next guest, I would like to tell you just what teams we have here. When I counted the names on the paper, I actually counted 22. So I will start with our youngest, the Pee Wee teams. We have the Pirates. Give them a round of applause. The Cubs. And they are expanding daily, so yes, we can still join. The Yankees and the White Sox. As you can see, we fill a team, then we fill another team. So there are two teams there that need filling. So if you have your children coming out to practice and they haven't gotten their uniforms as yet, please do so. Next we have the 9-10 teams. We have the Reds, the Braves, the Dodgers, and the Marlins. The 11-12 teams, Fatum, Sajiko, Elsie Bell, Scotiabank, the Daily Herald, the Windward Islands Bank, and Photo Gums, the most that we have. Then we have 13 to 14 year olds, Juliana, Princess Juliana, Tropicana, Super Clean, and Middle Region Star. And last but not least, we have the 15, 16 year olds, Fashion Repair, Najiko, and GEBE. And I think you can realize as they get older, the teams get less. So there's something we need to do about motivating that to remain as active. With that, I'd like to call on our Minister of Education, Culture, Youth and Sports, Sports and Youth, of Team Mexi, Ms. Rhoda Arenel. First of all, good afternoon to the parents. Um, welcome, that's what I see up there. And good afternoon to all the volunteers, the coaching staff, the umpires and scorers, and certainly not least, good afternoon to you, the athletes out there. I take this opportunity on behalf of the ministry and the rest of government to welcome the Little League organization through its president, Ronald Jacobs, and the rest of his team for a job well done. I wish I could say I was around uh, 35 years. I wasn't born then. Um, but I've been, uh, been watching it for a while. And I really want to say how much I appreciate and how, how much I, Silvera, you in particular, I remember you as a young Little League player as a girl, one of the first girls to play Little League and this afternoon I was looking at the groups and trying to see where the girls were. We don't have too many, we have them in softball now, right? We don't have them in Little League but again people like you have set the trend for the girls and I would like to encourage more girls to participate in things like Little League and other sports. So I want to tell you the organization how much I appreciate the work that you're doing and I pledge to you my support to engage in a more active process 
to bring in more players, not just players, but more girls in particular, so that we can start to see more in terms of gender parity. But we have a plan, and you're going to see part of that plan unveiled pretty soon for the upgrading, for the promotion of not just facilities in St. Martin, but for athletes, for coaches, for trainers, for officials in general. Having said that, I wish all the athletes a most, I should say, enjoyous tournament, because I don't know, I, I think the pledge says you can have fun too. Okay, I wish you a most enjoyous tournament. We know that you're all winners, but we're looking forward to see the results. I, I, I'll be around for the final games, as long as you let me. And I can't promise you I'll come out to every game, but I'll certainly be around for the final games. Again, congratulations, Little League, and you continue to have our support in government. I would like to take this moment to commend our Little League Association. You only heard from the president. I keep asking where are the other members, but many of our members are coaches. So I'd ask you to just wave from wherever you are, if you're not up front. It's good to be here again, and 35 years and counting. And I think as an association, you deserve much credit for having brought the Little League on St. Martin to where it is today. And I agree with you, there is much more that still can be done. But to have kept going for 35 years, and some of you in it for a very long time, I think that association, your association, deserves appreciation by the players, the parents, and all others involved. So this afternoon, I want to say happy 35 years as you celebrate that event. And I wish you a lot of success in going forward. This year takes on special meaning if, as Ronnie indicated, you want to be champs next year. It will require a lot of hard work, a lot of cooperation and support. But you have done it for 35 years and I'm sure this year you will leave no stone unturned to make sure that you make St. Martin proud like you have done in the past. So to all the players, I wish you much success. And as every year again we listen to the players' pledge, we listen to the parents' pledge. I think if we could just stick to that, stick to those at least, we will get a very, very long way. I encourage people to continue to support this event. We need to continue to seek ways to keep our young people, especially our young boys, occupied and occupied constructively. So this afternoon, congratulations. I look forward to a very exciting year, and as the minister indicated, the government is there to help and support you, but you know all we can do is offer some advice, offer some finances, but the ones who really need to put their shoulders on the it is the association, the coaches, and the parents. Together with government though, I believe we could form a strong circle in the benefit of our young people. Good afternoon, it's good to be here once again. All the best for this tournament.